have been your student union president for the past year. The student union nomination elections are now open and this is your chance to fix what we didn't and change what you think needs to be done. The students union is run for students by students. At the very top of the organisation you have the board of trustees and they're responsible for making sure the day-to-day -day management of the union goes well. We have three positions on the Board of Trustees for students and it's an opportunity for you to look at how the union is managed on a day-to-day -day basis as well as influencing how the union moves forward strategically. It's probably one of the most exciting roles as well as one of the most employable in terms of the skills that you're learning whilst you're on the job. And then we have the Student Council which is made up of 34 part-time elected officers and these are the officers that represent you on a wide range of issues ranging from welfare to education, sports and societies and volunteering, as well as the different representative groups on campus. They are so important in terms of making sure that you have the right opportunities for employability, time for volunteering, sports and societies, making sure that we do what we're supposed to do as a union and really represent students as best we can. And then we have four NUS officer positions and that's where you can have the opportunity to represent your union nationally at NUS um, conference. And it's one of the most important positions in terms of making sure that students get their say on national issues. In the past we've done Stop the Cuts campaigns and we've looked at free education and these are things that the NUS officer can really influence in terms of their vote at National Assembly. And finally you have your four executive officers and they are heads of the union for a year. Um, they're also paid at 24.5k a year so it's a great thing for you to be doing after university. You are managing the union and you're moving the union forward strategically. You're the ones that make the decisions on what the union does for the duration of the academic year. You have your welfare vice president who is responsible for coordinating the welfare zone and managing campaigns and making sure that student rights are protected on campus. You have your vice president for education and they are responsible for managing our 120 plus course reps and making sure that the educational policies that we pass at the union are really representative and can affect your education positively. Then you have your Vice President for the Barts in London. The Vice President for Barts in London um, is specifically elected to look after the needs of the dentistry and medical students across campus um, and their position is really important in, in terms of making sure that those students get the best representation that they can across all levels of the university. And then you have your President who is also the Chair of the Board of Trustees as well as a College Council member and they are really the ones that will represent the Union at the highest level of university making sure sure that all change that moves forward is entirely student-led. Your president works for 16,000 students and is responsible for ensuring that the union works strategically towards its aims. So if you think you have what it takes to become a leader, if you think you're somebody that can affect change positively in their education, or if you think that something different needs to be done in education, welfare or volunteering or sports clubs and societies, and you think you can be the one to do that, then get your nominations in for 4pm on the 12th of February. You can get your nominations forms online um, at www.qmsu.org or you can click on the link in the description box below and get your nomination forms there too. You can also just go to the QMSU reception and the Students Union Hub to pick them up there.